Alright, and few more napkins. So, uh, <clears throat> this one is a um, floral bouquet and it has four images in here and I absolutely love this um, shade of colors. It's this really, really um, soothing to your eye, don't you think? I think it is. So, <clears throat> those. And uh, we got more floral ones. This one has a doily and rosettes in the middle and uh, beautiful uh, lavender trim around and um, it's you're gonna have four images in here so this is gonna and I like that um, polka dot you know the uh, on a gray it's kind of really pleasing to your eye as well so that one and we got this beautiful set of napkins I absolutely love it it's gonna look gorgeous on on the project because uh, all you will see is this gray when you're gonna apply it you will see those rosettes so and the rest is gonna be clear <clears throat> so and in here you definitely can uh, do the uh, you can cut it in the center piece you can use that you can use that as a border all the way around I mean it's really this napkin is so versatile and uh, because you have so many teeny tiny ones you can create your bouquet uh, using just layering with those so that is fun and we have um, another beautiful it's it's almost like rosemary um, I don't know I got this pastel in here let me see I'm not really good with color it's and uh, I mean it's on the red side it's pink on the red side no there is no nothing closer but um, this is just beautiful and uh, this bouquet can go in so many ways you know can look at you in so many ways and um, you are getting four of those and you of course you can use the border those are fun I just love it I don't know it's just so beautiful and we have um, two um, country I, I, I named them country uh, prints uh, country blue and country pink I I love blues if you know me I love blues and I love pinks so and this two prints they are going uh, all the way across the napkin which gives you so many borders you can use this so you can use four of those you can use the blue you can use just this part and I mean really the possibility is gorgeous and I really really like that print it's really beautiful isn't it I, I'm in love with this one I'll see how fast it's gonna go uh, off the shelf and, and uh, I'll know right away if you liked it or not. So sometimes uh, my taste is not really um, taste for um, all of you out there crafters. So and this uh, napkin has four uh, floral um, centerpieces and you definitely can use uh, borders separately or use this one as a wide and this has like a lacy print as a lace 
uh, so that would be absolutely beautiful on your um, project look it's not beautiful so shabby so those are two country sets and um, we have um, one floral one more floral bouquet and I absolutely love that image this is just so bright and so beautiful <clears throat> and you have four of those on your napkin so you can fussy cut or not uh, tear it um, around and that's gonna be your perfect edge because you won't see the background it's white which is absolutely beautiful and then if you want to do the layer so what you do you use you use one image as a background per se and then you can cut out um, each flower and mount them on the chipboard and adhere the chipboard on top of your um, much page um, um, image that you already placed down and um, so you're gonna be using two images so you're gonna have two more to play with so that's how you can get the dimensional um, look and I absolutely madly in love with this one and I love everything tea party and teapots and teacups and it's Parisian kind of lookish and um, it has two different teapots so we have this style teapot and this style teapot which is absolutely adorable so you are gonna get four images out of this napkin you're gonna have a uh, two of each kind on the diagonal uh, of the pot so aren't those adorable so again let me show you closer this one and this one with a little cherub on top isn't that adorable so those uh, and uh, um, a little um, more um, of the gray ones um, that um, I absolutely love so uh, we got um, spoons and forks and this is cool because it continues on one side so you can continue with half a napkin and do like all the way around the box uh, spoons and forks, spoons and forks, and use on the other side of the box, you know, the, the rest. So you can create the border that way, and it's gonna be just only spoons and forks, <laughs> so which is really cool. And I was eyeballing this one for a longer time ever, and the minute they got on sale, I grabbed them so and this is the spoon in a royal teapot and royal spoon and um, London stamp and the script on the background I absolutely love it and uh, so and you will get uh, four images so um, this stamp is overlapping onto another page so you will trim it around and go around so that is just beautiful and this is like a single layered uh, napkin so there is no layer in there so th those are ready to go you don't need to peel some of them have like triple layer 
so some of them don't so those are cool and the last but not least this is absolutely gorgeous it is so romantic um and a look at this border lacy border in there and look at her dress the butterflies and flowers and she's beautiful so and you are gonna get four of this picture frames so you can definitely do um, 3d um, image out of that uh, dress form uh, and you definitely can do the double-sided you know uh, thing as well so that's gonna be cool to play with all right so um, that's it for napkins I think it's quite a collection all combined so yeah go ahead and check out and uh, I do have uh, collections of Christmas napkins as well uh, so those are really really cool um, uh, collections and uh, they've been uh, selling um, from the last season but they were taken off the shelves because Christmas is not all year round so yeah all right uh i guess uh, i'll see how you're going to be shopping for those and i'm looking forward to see all your projects so if you guys are using um an escape products and uh you are on facebook or well you're on youtube or anywhere else uh, please message me and i would love to see um your creations uh, using NSK goodies. That would be fun. Okay, so excited. Okay All right, the Halloween is kind of close so um, I um, Love uh, Halloween holidays and stuff but um, I Love the colors of the Halloween so, and if you will take those colors out of contests of Halloween, they are gorgeous too. And I know uh, lots of ladies love those colors. So, let me show you this beautiful purple applique set. This is uh, just absolutely gorgeous. The embroidery pieces sequins or just divine so in uh, this uh, set you are getting uh, let me see you are getting three large appliques and the large applique is um, involved um, this segment this large segment and this little flower so it's kind of like L shape on some of the cuts it's gonna be the opposite L the other corner depending on the layout of fabric uh, where I can uh, save more appliques and not to chop the whole um, element so uh, three of these large appliques four of this small appliques and you see how small they are they are quite <laughs> they're quite not small because they are uh, almost the size of my hand but what I like about this type of appliques you can absolutely cut it up and use for any kind of project so four of those and here they are in here too and three of this uh, medium size where the flower is kind of slight, slightly larger um, than the small one so that's the uh, uh, purple one and I absolutely love 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 this so that's gonna be uh, this and I have only few um, sets because um, you know 
keeping the inventory can be very expensive and you never know if customers would like the product so therefore uh, the beginning should be really easy so and the next one is coppery orange some of you might seen this one on Janet's video when I visited her this summer um, and I brought her a couple snippets of uh, this beautiful appliques and uh, yes it's orangey but it's really as she said it's copper orange um, and it's absolutely beautiful so and again we have three large appliques in this case you see the L-shaped corner and another um, angle but um, you can use this one and just cut um, like that part of the flower so you will have two L's or three opposite L's this way so it's it's up to you how you're gonna be cutting that's why I actually left it on a piece of fabric uh, because um, I didn't I cut it around into big uh, fabric piece so if you want to have the whole um, element so it would be easier for you to cut it out uh, yourself and again we have this four small ones elements and three medium ones absolutely love those so I hope you will share my enthusiasm for this um, item and uh, let's see what's next Um, so the size of this paper piece is 12 by 12 and you can see how huge this applique is uh, so um, and it consists of several different elements of um, cherry blossoms so those are really cool let me zoom in Ooh. The embroidery work is absolutely stunning and on the back it has that um, plasticky so you can iron it on it's already ready and uh, cut it out for you so I have those in several colors so in this blue I have it in Turn it the right way to you. I have it in pink. So very pretty pink. And it's like endless. Endless. So in pink. And I have it in a gorgeous red. This is just beautiful. Red. And in cream, uh, you know, cream cherry blossom, almost like natural look. So here they are all together. Here I'm gonna try to layer them all so they will get in the frame what a gorgeousness let me bring it on a piece of paper to you gorgeous and um, the price of each applique is 345 and I think this is just amazing um, amazingly wonderful price for the size of this um, applique so that's that all right and I have a couple uh, more appliques and uh, that's all I have in stock that you see right here so um, 
this um, beautiful what's the length of it um I don't believe it's uh, 14 inches uh, 14 inches um, long and you see uh, there is a few uh, strands in here okay and that's how it looks close by and it's embroidered embroidered um, applique like cherry blossoms and I have only two in gold and I have that in silver as well so uh, let me show you closer they tingling me together uh, so there very pretty subtle silver almost like antique silver so uh, those and I have gorgeous wings those are huge appliques they are 14 inches tall and uh, what six inches wide so that's it's all sequins can't even fit it all in and um, you are getting a pair of wings so those gonna be great on like really um, large canvas or t-shirt <laughs> so yeah and they are um, on a mesh so you can um, actually iron it on so those are the appliques okay